Hey YouTube friends, Survival Craft here. A lot of people put in their survival kits cotton balls that have been impregnated with petroleum jelly. And what they usually do is they take a nice scoop of this stuff and they work it in by hand. So they just sit here and they, they move it around and they make sure that cotton ball has it all over the place. But what happens a lot of times is the Vaseline only goes on the outside of the cotton ball, ball and doesn't actually get into the inside and if you can get it to the inside it takes a lot of aggressive work and it's very messy. I'm going to show you a better way to impregnate cotton balls with Vaseline. So what you need is an old kitchen pan, and I picked this up for a dollar at a yard sale. And in order to keep it a little bit cleaner, make the cleanup easier, line it with tin foil so that you can just remove the tin foil and throw that away. The next thing you want to do is you want to set the oven between low and medium and let the pan warm up. And once it's warm, throw in a big spoonful of Vaseline into there. And what that'll do is it'll warm it up and it will allow it to melt down and become a liquid. Now don't get the oven too high, you'll have to stand here and adjust it because you don't want that Vaseline to start smoking. Now after about three to five minutes, the Vaseline should melt down into a liquid. And what you do is you take one of your cotton balls and you want to fluff it out a good bit. Now the reason is is because you want there to be a lot of surface area for the Vaseline to soak into. It doesn't need much, something like that, and just throw it in. And instantly the cotton will begin to soak up the petroleum jelly and that's what you want. Now this doesn't take a lot of messiness, a lot of kneading. You just leave it in there, allow it to soak up, and after about 10 seconds just flip it over and press it down you know, here and there just to make sure it soaked up the petroleum jelly really nicely. And when you're done, you should have a nice wet cotton ball. And then pick it up with your spoon. Just take the bag that you're gonna put these in and just drop it in. As you can see, I've already done two here. Now I've got a third. And you just drop these in here and let them cool down. I made this petroleum soaked cotton ball in the traditional manner by taking it, putting it into the Vaseline and rubbing it around for three to five minutes. Now this is a decent way that gives you a good product. However, there are two things to think about. Number one, this process is very messy. You get it all over your hands, all over your clothes, all over different things. And number two, it's quite time consuming, at least when it comes to hands on time. However, when we make this cotton ball, all we have to do is let the stove warm up, we drop the cotton ball in, we take it out and bag it. My hands never come into contact with the Vaseline. It is not messy. The cleanup is only taking the tin foil and throwing it away. And it ultimately does not take much time. You can turn your oven on low and step away, although I recommend not stepping away too far in case something happens. But this is a much easier way to create a petroleum soaked cotton ball. Also, and we're going to test this right now, I believe that this process creates a better petroleum soaked cotton ball than the traditional process of rubbing the petroleum into the cotton ball. So I'm going to take this lighter, I'm going to see how quickly these light. See, that one didn't even stay lit because the petroleum tends to stay on the outside and creates a barrier between the fire and the cotton. However, this, where the petroleum soaked in, it lights immediately and it spreads because it's, it's soaked into the Vaseline and the Vaseline is within the fibers of the cotton rather than merely on top of them. 
Now this method is of course only for demonstration. If you were out in the field, I suggest taking the cotton and pulling it apart as much as you can so that you expose as much as the fibers as possible. However, this shows you that these cotton balls do better when soaked in the liquid Vaseline rather than the solid gel Vaseline. As always, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.